Hello Zebrahood, welcome to Zebra's Arcade, a series where we try a new game every episode. Today we're trying SpongeBob SquarePants Krusty Cook-Off, a game that just released on the Nintendo Switch. As far as I can tell, this was originally a mobile game, but is now like a full game version. It is paid, and it was like $30, so I'm hoping it's a pretty good game. We'll have to see. And it sort of just jumps you right into it, so here's SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs talking. It's more to Mr. Krabs, I was just on my way to work. Never mind that, I need you to do something important for me. More important than flipping Krabby Patties? That's right, today you're flipping pancakes. I was wondering what that food st what that food stand was for. Oh wow, yeah, there's pancakes. Let's get cooking. Interesting. See, I really don't know what this game is about. I had never heard of the original until I heard that this was out on the Switch. Of course, I know a lot of you guys are interested in SpongeBob. We played um, the Battle for Bikini Bottom remake that came out last year and you guys really liked it. I had so much fun with it as well. One order of pink jelly pancakes coming up. First, the batter goes on the griddle. So we're not even making crusty crabs, like, you know, Krabby Patties. Okay, careful, I shouldn't have burned the pancake. Okay, I, I missed some stuff there. Let's change, let's, let's change station continues. So we cook the batter there. Finally, some delicious jelly. Here you go, kind sir. All right, Patrick hopefully enjoys that. Coffee coming right up. Let's move over to the other station to reach the coffee machine. All right. Oh, and one cup of Joe too. There you go. Looks like Patrick is pretty happy. All right then, so what are we doing next? Oh, I see. So I guess we just keep giving people stuff. We, we make more things and we give it to them. So this person, oh my gosh, there's a lot to manage like right away. Uh, <laughs> So I have to cook those. Your cup of joe is ready. Um, I need to flip that. Um, there are so many buttons to press, oh my gosh. Uh, oh no, don't want it to burn. So you just want a normal pancake. No, 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 you didn't. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're not gonna like that too much. Let's see that, nobody wants that right now. So we're just focusing on pancakes, but as the timer goes down, the less happy they get. Um, I know a customer doesn't seem very satisfied. Uh, well, let's help them out. There you go. So while that's happening, I need to be cooking more. I'm sort of starting to get, nobody wants like a complimentary coffee for the wait? I guess not. Okay then, so we'll put some jelly on one of them. There we go, I got it now. So there's definitely like a flow of managing all the cooking. Interesting, and we locked a bunch of coins. Good thing Mr. Krabs added the, the tip jar on the counter. Aw, oh, some happy customers with the tip. It was my pleasure. All right then, so that seemed to be pretty good. We get some level rewards for it. It's a lot of information on the screen. Uh, we're just gonna keep moving forward. Okay, and we get a green star. <laughs> Interesting, there's like a lot this game is throwing at me at once. Well, how are the pancakes, Patrick? Oh no, I was too busy eating these weird Krabby Patties. They look funny, but they're delicious. For the last time, Patrick, they're not Krabby Patties, they're pancakes. Mr. Krabs wants me to sell them to people who don't want Krabby Patties for breakfast. What kind of weirdo doesn't want a Krabby Patty for breakfast? All right, so we need another green star to do something. Oh, look at this, so we got all different characters moving around like Sandy and Patrick. Okay, choose your cook. Oh, cool, so we knock different cooks at some point. Interesting. Our main goal right now is just to get 80 coins. So now that I get the basics, let's cook up some pancakes so that those are nice and ready for whenever anybody wants them. So this person wants two coffees, let's give them their first coffee right now. Um, and you want jelly on one of them? There you go. Um, let's get two more pancakes cooking. So that's where this really starts to get a little fancy, is managing everything. Um, so yep, nobody needs anything extra there. Oh my gosh, everybody's asking for something. So it's really important that we manage that and make sure our pancakes are being cooked up at any point in time. And there we go, that was actually really easy. Wow, it's like we were on a cooking streak. Uh, keep cooking like that and we'll get a, a sweet bonus each time. Interesting. All right then. So what do we got going on next? Got ourselves another green star. But I guess as we're doing that, we're knocking like more chests and stuff. Another terrible day at the Krusty Krab. Poor Squidward. Making Krabby Patties isn't as easy as it looks. Who would have thought it would be possible to actually miss SpongeBob? Oh, here he is. <laughs> hey, Squidward, would you like a pancake? I take it back, life was great without you. Oh, that was a very nice Squidward. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to this next one. 
level three. The goals are six plates, I guess. I guess we have to feed six customers. The bonus rewards are smile bonus, coin bonus. There's stuff to get, I guess. All right, main goal, I think to serve six customers. Six dishes, whoa, that's hardly even a challenge. All right then, so let's cook some stuff up there. Our coffee's already ready, so what do you want, mess? Uh, you're just gonna, you're not even interested. Oh no, there you go. Um, and then we'll put jelly on both of these. That'll be great, as soon as that is ready. Then we'll send one of these over. Hopefully one person want a jelly on those. But here's where it can be a problem as well. If we cook too many pancakes, it starts sitting there and they're burning, and that's not good. And there we go, we got it, <laughs> okay. Not really too much of a worry that time, that's for sure. Um, but as you can see, we get 65 coins. I think we had three tips or something. There's three happy customers. Okay, so we're getting closer and closer to that chest. Goals to work up to, oh my gosh. What is it? What is that wonderful smell? Oh yeah, he's a crazy chocolate guy. Pancakes, wanna try one? Pancakes, pancakes. Why does everyone love pancakes? They don't even make sense. They're not pans or cakes. But the cakes you make on a pan. Ah! <laughs> okay, I don't know why you're so upset. Uh, bargain mart meeting, all your special needs. Ooh, interesting. Better appliances mean faster food and happier, happier customers. Pinky griddle. Okay. So I guess this is free. More plates, more food, more smile. So we also have free extra plates. And then a pancake griddle, which is 2,250 coins. Can't quite afford that one. So like with different coins, we can afford different things. I guess the coffee maker might be another thing that's worth checking out. Okay, well I don't have enough for anything right now, so we'll leave it be. Now let's go into uh, level four, where we'll, our goal is to earn 130 coins. Okay, let's give it a try. So, um, oh, so we can add extra pancakes on the griddle now, which will be nice. Uh, so we'll send two over your way, make an extra coffee there. Uh, let's put some jelly on that one. Just need to make sure I'm like bouncing everything correctly. There you go. Let's do that again. Send the coffee. Uh, oh no, I don't have enough space for this. Uh, there you go. <laughs> oh my gosh, it does get a little overwhelming. Not gonna lie. Um, okay, you want a normal one and that one. Got it. And I'll save that. Okay, I was gonna say to be jelly free. It looks like we didn't need it to be. Uh, and we'll send you coffee, and I think with that we're good. Excellent. We actually earned up a lot more than the 130. Almost twice as much. So what is all these like tickets for? I don't know. Your reward. Um. Oh, I see. So maybe we get tickets depending on how many happy customers we have in total. So we've gotten 54. So we get an extra ticket to open maybe a chest of some sort. It's a little weird. I'm trying to figure it out. I'll have everything in this game. SpongeBob, check out the skill crane. With this machine, you can find amazing outfits. Step up, SpongeBob, the first one is free. Whoa. Um, and we got... Uh, glasses, okay, you received the new item, summertime shades. Mr. Krabs found these shades unattended on Muscle Beach. Very interesting. So what do they do, exactly? They call me SpongeBob Cool Pants. <laughs> we can't wait to find out the new outfit in my wardrobe. Okay, so I, it hasn't explained what they do yet. <laughs> it throws so much information, but it doesn't answer any of the questions. This is where you will find your outfits. We can use coins for outfits. That's why what I call having a fashion sense. Ha 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 ha. All right then. So over here, can equip this. I mean, maybe it's just cosmetics. I'm not quite sure. Oh no, no, I see. They're affecting like our level to some degree because I can see how this gets him all the way to level two. Interesting. Okay, well I can't quite afford that, but hopefully at some point soon. Oh, good good choice, now we're ready to cook. So it looks like we do have different cooks coming up. We had a robo top there, which helps us cook a little bit. Boo jelly, I can't decide which is taste here. That was blue? Looks purple to me. Um, okay, let's get some pancakes on the griddle. 
Um, nobody wants coffee just yet. All right then, so somebody wants purple and pink, so we'll deliver that, and then uh, get these three off of there, and then two purple, and then it's ready, and I'm ready. What's well, ready, let's try it out. Uh, oh, so I can use this ability. Whoa, whoa, we got Robo SpongeBob going on. Uh, okay, send those out. Get that there. Uh, send that out, and this, and a coffee. Three more cooking. This lady is so excited for her coffee. I'm glad, I'm happy for you. Send that out, and this out, and coffee. Everybody wants coffee right now. Must be that time in the morning. Um, all right, you get coffee. Nobody wants pancakes right now, so this one might actually burn. Uh, uh -oh. Yeah, I just gotta sit here <laughs> and tap it until, come on, don't burn the pancake. Don't burn the pancake, no! There it goes. Not too bad. Whew. Poor pancake, I was getting stressed out there. Um, wow, hold on, 40,000 tickets? Isn't that crazy? You can earn that many in this game. We're still working our way to like our first 100. Okay, well speaking of which, we're getting, oh, close to our first chest here. Off to work already, Squidward? Will the torment never end? Nope, have a pancake. Need to get those buffoons away from my house. Wait, so is there another chest? It just, I'm not really sure. Achievements completed. Let's check out the achievements. Uh, quick look, serve meals fast 10 times, we did that, so we get like different tickets for doing different things. Um, I'll gladly take them. But where do I use these tickets? I'm a little confused. Uh, but there's a map as well? I just wanna look around a little bit, sort of figure out what's going on. Yeah, here's our pancake stand, there's uh, the Krusty Krab, Sandy's Barbecue, oh that's cool. So there's like different restaurants to attend to at some point or another. That's gonna be fun. Well, let's go back to this, try to figure out a little bit more. Okay, let's try level six. Uh, our goals are five thumbs up. Hopefully that sounds good. Hopefully we can try uh, some of the other characters today as well, Patrick and Squidward. Okay, get those pancakes cooking, or not. Uh, customers like a fast service, fast food and all. Let's see how many likes we can get. Uh, so maybe like positive ratings from people. We'll get them to give us a like. So we can send one out right now and then send out two of those. Um, more pancakes. I get to like very uh, frantic very quickly. Um, I'm just trying to manage that, you know, keep our cool. These kind of jobs can be very difficult. It's always, you know, worth respecting the work people put into their jobs. There we go. Uh, send that one out and your coffee, ready to go. Oh, I can't take that one just yet. There we go. Now I can. Is that everybody? Oh, that was everybody. Awesome. <laughs> Pretty quick. All right then. So with that done, the mob of Andrew was literally anything. If you're, if you're sure about that, the little loading screen said that. I'm sure, they would prefer good food though. So yeah, these guys are locked for right now, but there's a bunch of them. Interesting. Okay, let's go back to SpongeBob. Main goal, 150 coins. Let me get those cooking up. And she wants, uh, nothing? No, she almost kept walking there. She was thinking about it. Um, so we'll do that. Take these three off. There we go. I'm starting to get a little bit better at it. I'm getting the hang of it. A pancake cooking master. All right. Oh, let's do that again. Hopefully somebody takes this coffee before it's cold. You just want a normal one, there you go. Uh, okay, let's send that out. I'll take this one. And there we go. And I think that's gonna be everybody. All right, that's awesome. Haven't even really been using my robot friend at all. Should probably try that at some point. Okay, so there is another chest unlocked, but it like, 
I got the chest and maybe that's like just like a story thing? Cause then the, like when we get the chest, the characters are talking. This fake jellyfishing contest should convince SpongeBob to leave me alone. Hey SpongeBob, have you seen the flyers uh, for the jellyfishing contest? No, I've been too busy selling pancakes, want one? I don't want any of your stupid pancakes. I mean, no, thank you, SpongeBob. Okay, no, this time we did get a reward. We got 100 coins, I'll gladly take it. So let's keep it moving. We need to spruce this place up, back to the bargain mart. Sounds great to me. Whoa, what did I do? Uh, we got the menu board. Hmm, I guess that means more tips. I remember Mr. Krabs once said, food plus ambience equals money, me boy. <laughs> All right. So we got that. So there's like different interior things that we unlock at different levels. We don't even buy them, I suppose. And there's decor. Oh, this is cute. So we, we have tables we can improve. And like there's like different things like that. Very fun. So I could buy this for like 500 coins. If I want to save my money for more practical things, I'm guessing this would, it gives plus 20 bubbles or pearls, which I guess gives us more rewards or something. Yes, yeah, so if I bought this right now, how many coins do I have though? Does, oh, over there. Okay, so yeah, that got us a chest. Look, the more people like us, the more smiles we get. That's what I call winning smile. So we get 500 coins for this. We actually got our money back. Very cool. So back over here, um, recommended is a coffee machine, which is gonna make it so that we can cook two coffees at once, or brew two coffees at once. The cooking time's a little bit faster. So that's fun, is that we can improve things over time. I'm guessing on the same thing for this, right? The price has increased which I guess means we earn more money for it over time. So that would eventually pay itself back. All right, what's going on over here? We got ourselves more achievements done. Uh, so I will take whatever we got. Looks like that's it for now. And what is this? Oh, our story. Interesting. So I guess we're still in episode number one. Mr. Krabs is trying to monetize the breakfast crowd by having SpongeBob serve pancakes in front of his pineapple house. Okay, so for right now, we'll go to level eight. I still wanna, you know, keep checking some stuff out. Mingle's 280 coins, I think we got it. Ready, boom, uh, take that one as well. Send you one of those. What's nice is like the coffee machine sort of does its own thing. All right, this lady is already sort of upset that I haven't given her her pancakes. Like, she just showed up. There we go. Um, all right, take those. We got you, we got you, don't you worry. All right, two coffees going out. And then one purple, two pink. There we go. Almost there. Let's deal with her first. There we go. Okay, not too bad. So we got prestige there, I guess for maybe doing everything right. Interesting. So we're, we're sort of storming through. Okay, we're, we're getting slowly closer to another chest. Say, why don't you close up early today and go to that jellyfishing contest? Oh, Squidward, you know I couldn't do that. Mr. Krabs is counting on me. So, what do we got next? Level nine, we gotta do 14 dishes this time. So maybe this time I'll try the robot out again. Like what happens if I just, yeah, just a little bit, I'll gotta fill it up first. Okay, so it might just be like worth doing that every time. All right, um, he's gonna have to wait a second for the coffee. Somebody just asked for some, there you go. Uh, can somebody please take pancakes, please? Thank you. Uh, Purple and pink. Uh, two purple. There we go. Uh, some pink for him. All right. Uh, okay, now I need my, my, what happens if I have him help right now? It's over. Oh, okay, I got a little too carried away. I'm so focused in on making sure these people get what they asked for that I uh, don't even use them, my little robo buddy. Okay, so let's move on to level 10. I'm just gonna hop right into it. 
So, so far this game is actually, like, it's pretty fun. I like the concept. I don't see why we couldn't just be cooking Krabby Patties. Oh, a customer wants blueberries and they're pinky. Coming right up. Uh, just remember to cook it just right. And I guess we put that on and now blueberries. Another happy customer. Interesting. So let's start cooking up some more stuff. So now I need to make sure I probably don't want to put the blueberries on first. Uh, we'll do that. Okay. Put more on the griddle. All right, so not that normal one. All right. You two want coffee? I can help you out with that. Oh, getting the big combos right now. There you go. Uh, all right. She is super excited. There you go. And I think that's gonna be the last guy. So yeah, it feels like I'm doing pretty good at like multitasking everything. But the question is, like I said before, this is a free to play mobile game and I, I pay the full for the version of it here on the Switch. So is this something you really wanna pay full money for? Oh, the wonderful day flipping pancakes. They really are like breakfast Krabby Patties. They seem more like milkshakes to me. Um, Patrick. I'm not sure you should be drinking the pancake batter like that. Uh-oh, sounds like a tummy ache waiting to happen. Did somebody say pancakes? Oh no, Patrick, he's back. What is wrong with all you pancake lovers? Ah! All right, well, he still as furious as ever. But yeah, I think that from what I played so far, I think we're gonna give it a couple more levels. But for my main idea of it is that you should definitely, if there is a free to play mobile game version, you should probably try that before you buy this full game. Um, just because like, you know, might as well see if you like it first, you know? Cause it definitely is pretty expensive for the type of game that it is. And that's something I'm really surprised to see. There we go. Cause when I first saw the trailer for it, I had assumed it was just a free game on the Switch. Cause you know, they've done that with different, you know, games. Free to play games on the Switch are becoming a more popular thing. Um, there you go, have your coffee. And then, oh no, uh, that was not quite right. Let's take that, send out some coffee. And I think we're good, is that everybody? Oh no, there you go. It seems like it, there you go. Okay, that one we struggled with a little bit more, but mostly still, we're fine. Okay, so I think that we'll go and do one more level for today's video. Go ahead and claim some of that. You can definitely see how this game works, I think. It's very fun. I think the idea of managing things, I think that we do unlock more restaurants later on, more characters. It probably gets more and more complex as we move forward. It definitely has like a really fun gameplay loop to it. I think it's just a matter of, is it worth $30? Um, and I think that answer is gonna be different depending on who you are. Um, let's see that, send those over. Uh, gotta get more on there. Uh, nobody wants coffee, everybody wants pancakes. All right. Keep these customers happy. There we go. Get more pancakes on there. They are cooking faster than ever, which is nice, but are they cooking fast enough? There we go. Um, I'll try to work on that customer now. Uh, there we go. Okay, you need coffee, I can help you out with that. In the meantime, you also need coffee. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. Wait, did they walk away without getting their food? I don't know. <laughs> A little too much happening there. Oh my gosh. But like, even though I could put it up, I'm like, oh, maybe one more level. It definitely, it's fun, for sure. It's just one of those things, is it worth getting for the price sets. I feel like this is definitely one of those kind of games you could probably wait for like a sale of some sort. But yeah, as you can see, we, we just got the coffee maker. It wants us to get more coffee makers for some reason, even though I think it would be better if we got instead an expend pancake riddle. There we go, for all four slots. I gotta try that out. So let's go back in. And our main goal is eight thumbs up. So I can just go in here as soon as you want coffee. I got you covered. Oh, but having more plates would be very useful. 
I can now see. Um, there we go. Uh, we'll take those. Uh, one normal one, one blueberry. Uh, gotcha. What's next? Uh, that right there. I think that's gonna be everybody. Uh, not quite. There's this guy still. Right, well, he seems happy. And if he's happy, I'm happy. Job well done. Okay then, so there's our look at SpongeBob SquarePants Krusty Cook-Off, I think. And we get a reward for it, another chest. This time we get a ticket. I still don't really know what the tickets are for. Okay, so they're talking again. Hey, Skidward, home from work already? Why must you torment me? If you must know, it's been so, so been slow, so Mr. Krabs sent me home early. Have you thought about that jelly fishing contest? I could use a break from your persistent presence. I mean, if you were at work, then SpongeBob wasn't there, so he it wasn't a persistent presence anyways. Yes, in fact, I have. So you're going to leave me in peace? Oh, Squidward, I couldn't leave the pancake cart. Patrick, take my lucky jellyfishing net and win that contest. You're lucky nut. Passed down from SquarePants to SquarePants for generations. I won't hold you down, SpongeBob. What buffoons. They have no idea what, uh, uh, no idea the contest is fake. All right, well, I mean, I thought they would go over, find out it's fake, and just come home pretty quickly. Either way, Squidward, Squidward's very silly plans aside, I think that's going, we're gonna be wrapping it up for this video. Be sure to let me know if you wanna see me turn this into a full series or not, but if you want more SpongeBob action, I played through SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, rehydrated, full 100% last year. It was a really fun series, really fun platforming game. So definitely go check that out if you wanna see more SpongeBob. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.